Well, guys, the Firebird's gone. Mm, I'm kind of a little upset, but how I view it as is, for the time I spent on that Firebird, I could have built two full semi-mod Camrys in that time. And honestly, if that Firebird breaks, I have to go buy parts. If these Camrys break, I have enough parts in my backyard to keep myself sustained for a while. So, Firebird's gone. Time to go back to Camrys. Um, I did almost buy a Lumina. Uh, a gentleman sold it and I did not was not able to purchase it. I went and looked at a Cutlass. It was pretty rotted. And then I did find a Pontiac 6000. And uh, it was really rotted. Uh, the guy told me he parked it in 1995. So that was, what, 22 years ago? It was really, really rotted. But anyway, so the Firebird's gone. Ready? Oh, I'm actually pretty impressed with this. Wow. Did it! Back to the cameras, boys and girls. That actually took a lot more effort to break than I thought it was going to. Listen to it snap, crackling, and popping. We're just going to take that and shove it inside this Toyota Sienna van. And uh, I was not going to scrap this thing. I was actually going to keep it. But uh, I had a buddy over who actually redlined this thing for about four minutes and blew it up. So thank you very much, Jesse. Thank you very much. We did take it apart quite a bit. We have the Toyota van axles right here, but driver and passenger. We have the struts. We have the uppers and low, sorry, the spindles and the lower control arms. Those were all work in Toyota Camrys. All these parts will work in Toyota Camrys. We have a six liter alternator, six liter starter. Uh, I got my truck loaded up to go to the scrapyard. Hopefully I can make it there one night this week after work. We did take the rear subframe out of this. I was really hoping to put this inside of a back of a Camry, but I should have measured it before I removed it because it is, it is way, way too large to put underneath a Toyota Camry. It's got to be cut and narrowed by probably, I'm going to say about six inches to fit into a Toyota Camry. When you come over to the passenger side, we have the passenger spindle, passenger lower control arm, and we actually have the whole subframe out of this van. Now I've not actually measured this subframe, but I really do think it is the exact same as a Toyota Camry. Um, I'm going to have to measure it, I guess, but honestly I think it's pretty damn close. <laughs> pretty damn close. But um, So we got a lot of parts out of this van, and we got a lot of parts that we don't want actually stuffed inside the van. So we're going to be tying this thing down and trying to get it in the scrapyard pretty soon. As you can see, I put my little homemade engine hoist for front wheel drives inside there. Just sits on the rad cradles. I do want to cut this rad cradle out and keep it and uh, maybe use it again. Now the one thing I did notice about this is how tall this frame is. Now this is a lot, a lot taller than Toyota Camry. Like this has got two and a half inches on the Toyota Camry factory front frame. So I'm a little nervous that this will not bolt in a 100% but I don't know it might so I took it out anyways um, we took a lot of stuff off this this motor and basically out of this van we even took the throttle cable out but uh, all this will be uh, getting reused in other cars basically so it doesn't hurt me to keep it just gotta lift it out and put it away we did keep the uh, radiator without damaging it and this van actually had a factory transmission cooler in the driver's side front fender, so that was pretty cool to keep. So, and sad to say, but the Toyota van is off to the crusher. Bye-bye, Toyota van. Just gotta put all this stuff away now. <sighs> Never done. Never done. See you tomorrow, guys. With me working so much, it's kind of a plus and a minus as the fact is I drive down to Toronto every day. Toronto is about an hour and 30 minutes south of me that I drive to. So some days I've been taking my truck. Makes sense. On the way home, I'll buy Camrys. 
So last night on the way home, I picked up this 98, I think, V6 Camry. Now this thing is like super clean. Um, it's even full leather. Oh, I think I locked the doors. No, I didn't. Like even the leather is super nice. Interior super nice. Doesn't really matter though, because I'll be throwing all that into the trash. But even comes with the cool V6 Camry aluminum rims. But um, so when I on my way home, I usually try to pick up a Camry. I uh, try to see what I can find. So I picked up that Camry last night, which was a Saturday night. Uh, Thursday night, I picked up this Toyota Camry. Now I've already kind of quickly stripped it just to fill some of these scrap vehicles I want to take in. But unfortunately, this car here was actually destined to go to a scrapyard, and the guy that I bought it off of had it on his trailer to scrap it. So he cut all the wiring out of it. Um, he thought the throttle cables were wires, I guess, so he cut those. So it's got no throttle cable, no downshift cable to the transmission. Yeah, so this one's already been privileged, uh, sorry, cut apart for the wiring, so we're gonna have to make sure I can get this one running up until it's running it's just a parts car but it's not super clean this one but it came with a rust hole here in the back corner you see that there behind the wheel full of dents that kind of thing some stuff that makes me think that the motor is not in the best of shape we have some antifreeze down here on the ground and it actually did have some brake fluid in it but other than that, the inside looks half decent. The floor looks good. Driver door looks a little rotted at the bottom. But, whatever. We picked up this vehicle. Now, if you guys know caravans any well, this vehicle here is not a very good for demolition derby. The reason for that is, it's actually not in leaf springs in the back. The 90s caravans, like the silver one, or leaf springs these are not but uh this one here i picked up on friday night and i brought home I'm trying to part it out came with a whole bunch of scrap and garbage inside of it but that's okay it's just another dumpster vehicle uh, i'm not even sure what motor this thing has in it runs good drives good brakes feel pretty good but uh and then I picked up this Focus, I believe it was Wednesday night, Tuesday night. This Focus here, I got for pretty cheap. It has a hole the size of a football, I'm going to say, in the side of the transmission. So it's not going nowhere. I've already started filling it with scrap. Yeah, I've already started filling it with scrap. But uh, not a huge uh, plan for this thing, just take her in. But what I want to do today is I want to get that Accord off the trailer. I want to move a whole bunch of vehicles around inside of here. Uh, this black one I want over there. That one I want over there. That one right there. I want out of the way. I want them tucked in behind the shed because these cars do not run. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to be getting to them anytime soon. Uh, the minivan, I think I'm just going to pull the cat off of it and then get it ready for scrap. Not 100% sure. HHR, I'd like on the trailer. The Focus, I'm just going to leave where it is for now. I'm not too overly worked up about it. And then this car. I'd like this one pushed out of the way because all the wiring's cut. And I think it's going to take me a while to be able to get the wiring ready for it. Maybe I'll even get this one into the shop today and see if I can get it running. And then get the one the Firebird out of the shop so Dan Hills can pick it up. Not sure. But let's get all these vehicles moved and then I might feel a little bit better that I have space to walk around in my own backyard. <laughs> 